So here is our NeoLoad design interface. Uh, this is where we would go to create our tests. This is the starting point. Okay, I'm um, actually gonna also introduce you to our JPET store web app. It's a simple PHP site, pretty straightforward, just a pet store where you can sign in, select the pet you wanna purchase, You know, take that purchase through the checkout process. Okay, so how do we start our test in NeoLoad? All we have to do is click on the start recording button and we're gonna to wanna to give our test, we wanna give it a name. Uh, let's just be generic at this point. We can just say test one. It's gonna give us some options for some folders. We'll see, you see an init folder, you see an actions folder and um, you don't actually see this, but it, you sh there is an end folder. The init folder basically is for one-time transactions, right? So um, a good example would be signing into a website, something you just do once and you move on. Uh, most of your tests will be done in the actions folder. And then your end folder, it's very similar to the init folder. The end folder is for one-time transactions. Uh, like if you're signing out of a website is a perfect example of, of what would go in an end folder. So. Uh, we're going to go and start with our init folder because we're going to be signing into the website, the JPET store website, and then we'll, we'll select an animal. Okay. And okay, we want to go ahead and make sure all these boxes are checked. Now, the uh, JPET store website I'm running, it's, it's actually on Microsoft Edge. So we'll put that in there. All right. So once we're finished here, we can go ahead and click on OK. And you're going to see actually this window pop up. You're going to see this recording window pop up as well. This is the NeoLoad recording window. So as you can see here, it actually has a, a recording button, pause button, stop recording button. It has our folders here that we had gone over just a minute ago. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the init folder and uh, the transactions box. Yeah, now to go over this really quickly, transaction box is actually, it's not required, but it's definitely a best practice and recommended. It's a good way to keep your tests organized. As you can see here, once, once we finish, oh, I'm gonna use the transaction box and we'll see um, how well it keeps our tests nicely organized. And what you wanna do is basically, you'll wanna give your transaction a name. So what you'll do is, for example, like I mentioned, we're gonna sign into the website, right? So we'll go ahead and sign in. We'll just type in sign in and you know, you'd be done. Yeah. Click the sign in button on the website and go. Before we do that though, so it does tell us to enter our URL here. So let me go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go and sign in as we specified. All right. And we are now signed in. Let's go and move everything else to our actions folder. So I'm gonna pick a fish and I'm gonna actually select on a tiger shark and I'm going to add that to cart. And actually, let's go ahead and just put that in to our transactions. As here, we can just say add to cart. All right, we can actually even, we'll just do proceed to checkout. Okay, we can actually, let's just take it all the way through. Enter buying credentials, we can just say enter. I'll just say enter credit card info. All right, so we can do that. We click on continue. Uh, we can just say confirm our purchase. I'm done, right? If you want to be fancy, I guess we can go to the end folder and we can go ahead and select sign out. Sign out. And then once we're finished, we can go and just stop the recording. New load will take us to a post recording wizard. And as you can see here, I actually have a lot of things going. So it picks up everything. We're not going to need all that. So the quickest option is to just select on this unselect all button and then just select what you want. So we, we want that JPET store application. And then we just select on next and uh, move on to our next option. We're not going to do that actually. Do not need that. So we'll go ahead and select on finish. Okay. And as you can see, it is going to put our tests over here in this nice user path tree structure. When you select, you can actually see our tests that we did. It's nice and organized, nice and neat. And it'll even allow you to follow your tests as well. 